You're driving down a long road when all of a sudden out of nowhere, someone is standing in the middle of your path staring at your car. You slam on your brakes and expect the worst. There is no feel of impact, but you get out of the car to check. No one is around. It's dark, cold and windy, and the person you thought you hit is nowhere to be found. You later find out that the road you were driving along is haunted, and what you saw was a ghost who often patrols the area. That is a common report at many believed haunted roads around the world, and here we have five that you may want to think twice about before driving down. The Haunted A75 in Southwest Scotland The A75 in Scotland is said to be the most haunted stretch of road in the country, with the 15 mile stretch from Annan to Dumfries being where most of the paranormal sightings are reported. The chilling encounters include screaming hags, eyeless figures, and an assortment of unidentified creatures witnessed on the road. All of these things are frequently cited, but here are some of the spookiest encounters. In 1957, a lorry driver was driving down the road, when all of a sudden he thought he had run over a couple who walked arm in arm in front of his lorry. In a panic, he stopped to make sure they were okay, but when he got out of his cab, they had completely vanished. He thoroughly checked the area, but they were nowhere to be found, and he later found out that he wasn't the first to spot the ghostly couple, as they are believed to be regulars on the road at night. In 1962, Derek and Norman Ferguson were travelling along the A75 at around midnight, when a large hen flew towards their windscreen. Just before the point of impact, it completely vanished. Then shortly after, they saw an old lady screaming and an old man with a long white beard on the road, followed by several animals including hens, dogs, goats, a wild cat and a few unidentifiable creatures. They both said the temperature in their car dropped dramatically and as they brought their car to a stop, the vehicle started to violently shake. In a panic, Derek fled the car and the shaking stopped, but as he entered the car again, a furniture van appeared from nowhere heading straight for the car before disappearing right in front of them. Derek and Norman were both left terrified and have no explanation for what they saw that night. Another story happened in 1997 when Donna Maxwell was driving home along the street with her two children, when from nowhere a man jumped out in front of her car. She slammed her brakes and closed her eyes, fearing the worst, but she did not feel an impact and could not see anyone lying on the floor. She got out of the car to check but found no one. Donna still contacted the police convinced she had hit the man, but despite media coverage and an extensive search, no body was ever found. It's not sure if this was the man who Donna saw, but the sighting of a man who was often seen with a sack over his head, standing with his arms outstretched, and with what people say is some sort of old rope in his hands, is one of the most common reports, and also a man with no eyes who is on crutches is believed to haunt the road. When drivers approach him, he disappears or walks off into the distance. Many paranormal experts have driven along the road to see if they experience anything, and more often than not, it's reported they do. Toonman Road, Hong Kong Toonman Road is part of a ring road that circumnavigates the former British colony of Hong Kong. It looks like any other busy highway, but Toonman is different. It has been the place of hundreds of car crashes and has claimed many lives since it was built in 1970, all of which have led the locals to believe the road is haunted by the spirits of the dead who perished there. One of the worst accidents on Toonman Road happened in 2003, when a truck driver lost control and crashed into a passenger bus. The bus was pushed through the guardrails by the impact, causing it to crash 115 foot down a cliff, claiming the lives of 21 people. It was declared the deadliest single road accident in Hong Kong history, and since then the locals have strengthened their beliefs that the road is evil. They say the crash and all other crashes are caused by the spirits of the dead, who appear in and around the road, causing motorists to swerve, and those who have crashed and survived have confirmed this scenario. The locals say the ghosts are building in numbers as more fatalities are happening, and although most ghosts are not reported to be evil, those that are believed to haunt Toonman Road are said to have evil intentions. Even tourists unaware of the road's history have reported ghostly apparitions whilst travelling it, and despite these claims and the locals' fear of Toonman Road, it still remains one of the busiest roads in Hong Kong, and easily its most haunted. There is always something quite creepy about being in a tunnel, and the Balchan Tunnel, located in Switzerland, is no exception. It's believed to be one of the most haunted stretches of road in the world, with vanishing hitchhikers being a common sighting. The tunnel is part of the A2 motorway from Basel to Chiasso, and was opened in 1966. It's 3,180 metres long and was renovated in 2003, but ghost sightings have been reported since 1981. 
Motorists reported seeing an old lady dressed in white hitchhiking just before the tunnel. She started appearing in front of drivers in the road and would sometimes speak to them when they stopped. There were so many sightings that the Basel police started receiving calls about the lady and dozens of these sightings had to be investigated and logged. The sightings continued up until 1983 when a terrifying and probably the road's most famous story took place. Two female tourists reported that they picked up a white clothed middle aged lady who was hitchhiking before the entrance to the tunnel. She appeared pale and unsteady and they thought she was unwell. When one of the pair asked her further into the journey if she was feeling better, she replied, no, unfortunately no, I am not well at all. Something really awful is going to happen, something very dreadful. When they looked behind to the back seat where the lady was sitting, she had disappeared. This isn't the first time a vanishing hitchhiker story has been reported though. In 1980, a similar story came out, but this time the hitchhiker was male. Again, he was sat in the back of the vehicle and completely disappeared without a trace, despite the driver's high speed along the road. It's believed that many of the tunnels in and around Basel have experienced the same reports of ghostly hitchhikers disappearing, but Balchan Tunnel is without doubt where most of the hauntings seem to take place. Clinton Road in New Jersey is an eerie stretch of road that is around 55 miles northwest of New York City. It's well known in the ghost hunting community and is known as one of the scariest and strangest stretches of road in America. It's thought that the area surrounding the route is causing most of the activity, as over the years there have been many strange reports, from paranormal activities such as ghost sightings and strange creatures, to rumours of witch gatherings, satanists and even the Ku Klux Klan. To top things off, it's also thought that the area is used by professional hitmen to dispose of bodies, and at least one body has been found in the surrounding woods. Adding to the eeriness, the road has hardly any houses along its route, and it's a narrow two-lane highway that receives little maintenance. Very few vehicles use the route even at busy times, and it has the dubious record of having the county's longest traffic light wait, as priority goes to Route 23 causing Clinton Road users to have to wait up to five minutes for the lights to change, and it's not the sort of place you want to be waiting around for that period of time. At one of the bridges crossing Clinton Brook, it's said that if you put a coin in the middle of the road at midnight, it will be thrown back to you by the ghost of a young boy who drowned while swimming in the brook below. Some have seen the apparition of the boy, whilst others say if you lean over the bridge, he will push you in. In May 1983, a body was found in the nearby woods, an autopsy discovered that the man had been murdered, but they also discovered ice crystals in his blood and his internal organs had decayed much slower than his skin, as if he had been thawed out. It was concluded he had been put in the freezer shortly after his death to try and mislead investigators into believing that he had died much later than he had. The killer or killers were never found, and it's reported that drivers feel an extreme chill and dreaded feeling when passing this spot. To add even more evil to the road, along the route is a conical stone structure named the Druidic Temple. According to local legend, this was the site where Druids practiced their rituals, and anyone who intruded or looked too closely at them would have horrible things happen in their lives. It's a stretch of road up north in Maine that's never ever seen a smile. This is the line from a song called Tombstone Every Mile, which refers to the creepy Route 2A Highway in Maine, also known as Haynesville Woods. The road meanders around 90 miles through some of the loneliest and remote parts of Maine, and for many years, truck drivers and motorists have dreaded the drive through. Those lines of that song were written by former truck driver Dick Curlis, who experienced firsthand the sinister stretch of road and the dangers of traveling through it. The song talks about all the truck drivers and others killed along the road, all of which many believe haunt it to this day. A common sighting by drivers and locals is seeing a woman in white walking along the road, she will appear from nowhere and ask motorists for a lift. She will then tell the same story to all of them, that she and her husband have been in a terrible accident and they need help. As the woman takes a seat, there is a hair-raising chill in the car, and as the driver exits the Haynesville Woods stretch of the road, the woman disappears without a trace. Allegedly, the story behind the ghostly hitchhiker is that a newlywed couple were driving through Haynesville Woods when the husband who was drunk lost control of the car and crashed into a telephone pole. He died instantly, but his new wife managed to crawl from the vehicle and try to look for help before perishing to death in the snow. It's thought the woman in white is the dead bride, flagging down people desperately looking for someone to help. 
Another story is that of a young girl who was believed to have been hit by a truck and killed as she walked along the Haynesville woods. The exact details are unknown, but records do indicate that two 10-year-old girls, Janet Rouse and Melody Shorey, died in Haynesville on August the 22nd, 1967. Whether either of these girls are the ghostly apparitions seen at Haynesville Woods remains unclear, but what is known is that many people have reported seeing an apparition of a young girl walking alone along the road trying to find her way home. When offered a ride, she gets into the vehicle and sits quietly, but soon completely vanishes, leaving the driver terrified and never wanting to return. So, that's five haunted roads and the terrifying encounters that have been experienced by those travelling along them. I hope you've enjoyed, and see you next week for five eerie, unexplained photographs. Ooh.